to 19, we're going to be dividing two and three digit dividends by multiples of 10 with a single digit quotient and make our connections to written methods. So let's take a look here. We have 73 divided by 20. I know that I can't take seven tens and split it by 20, so I would have to decompose that to 73 ones. So let's look here. So we said zero. First step, if you don't remember your steps, please list them out. Division, multiplication, subtraction, bring down, and repeat. Let's go ahead and walk through that. We just did our division. Seven tens divided by 20 is zero. Check that off. Multiplication, zero times 20 is zero. Check that off. Subtraction, seven minus zero is seven. And then we're going to bring down our three. So now we have 73 divided by 20. I know if I had 73 ones and I had 20 students, I could give uh, each student at least one one dollar bill. So let's see how many we'll do on our repeat here. So 73. Well, if I was to skip count by 20, 20, 40, 60, 80 would be too much. I don't have 80. I have 73. So I know that 73 falls in between 60 and 80. 20 was 20 times 1. 40 was 20 times 2. 60 was 20 times 3. So I know that each student would get $3. 3 times 20, we just said was 60. Now I have 73 minus 60, and I get three ones and one ten for a remainder of 13. If I had $73 and I decided to split it by my 20 students, every student would get $3 and I would have $13 remaining. I couldn't give out those remaining $13 because I don't have enough for each student, each of my 20 students to get one. All right, let's take a look at B. We have 291 divided by 30. Remember, when we're doing our standard algorithm, the first number goes underneath, the second number goes outside. So my dividend goes underneath the division sign. My divisor goes outside, and I always think of it as a race. If my dividend was first place, he's gonna get in the house first. He gets to go in the house. All right, so we have 200s, nine tens, and one one. So if I had $200 bills, would I be able to divide it by 30 people? No, I would not. So I would have to decompose it or get changed. Now, instead of having 200s, I have 29 tens. So I would have to decompose this number once again, and my 291 ones could be divided by 31. If we want to walk through each of the steps, we want to go DMSB. Or how many times can I divide 200 by 30? Zero. 30 times zero is zero. Two minus zero is two. Bring down my nine and repeat. 29 divided by 30. We just said it was zero. 30 times zero again. Zero. Subtract, get 29. Bring down my one. 29 tens and one one is 291. 291 divided by 30. We know, I don't know my 30 timetables, but I know my three timetables. So let's just, let's start three timetables and then add a zero at the end. So we have three, six will be six tens, nine will be nine tens, 12 will be 12 tens, 15 will be 15 tens, 18, 21 tens, 24 tens, seven tens and 30 tens. I know it can't be 30 because that would be 10 <clears throat> or 30 tens, which is 300 because that would be 10. And I can only fit one digit between zero and nine here. So really you need to list your first nine. If we do that, we have 30 times one, 30 times two, 30 times three, 30 times four, 30 times five, 30 times six, 30 times seven, 30 times eight, and 30 times nine. I know that my 291 falls between 270 and 300. So I know that it's going to be nine times. Nine times 30 is zero times nine is zero. Nine times three is 27. I had it here already. So I'll do my subtraction. One minus zero, nine minus seven, and that is my answer. I have a final answer of 9 and a remainder of 21. Hopefully this helps. 
Uh, if you are still having trouble with this, remember that your remainder is always going to be less than your divisor. Hopefully this helps. Please watch another video. Pause the video as you watch it and see if you can do it on your own. And let's see if we can solve some more of these problems. Thank you so much, boys and girls. Keep up the good work.